Ronda Rousey, the first ever UFC women's bantamweight champion. There's no question on how good she was as a cage fighter. Also a bronze medal winner in judo, 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics. Also her transition to wrestling, quote unquote, sports entertainment has been one of the best in WWE, at least from what I've seen. In WWE champions, her first entry was as a focused striker back in 2018. In this review, we'll see if she is still viable at 5 star silver. Short history here. I'm redoing this review. I did make one at 5 star bronze level, but soon enough 5 star silvers were announced and felt like 5 star golds are also coming. So I never published a 5 star bronze review back in 2020, I believe. She is a focused striker. As a coach, she gives the berserker ability to other strikers. At 7.5k, if a striker loses 30% or more total HP in one turn, immediately all damage will be increased by 30%. For the tag links, she has a smackdown link, start with plus 1 MP on all moves and tagging with cut angle. Matching green will give 1 more MP for the green moves. Alright, stats wise, at 5 star silver Ronda has 1.27 million health. Of course, strikers have the lowest HP compared to other classes. Black, green and yellow are her primary gems. Meanwhile, blue and purple are her weakest. For the crits, chance for the moves is 15%. That does indicate that cheap shot and chaotic blast, probably the forgotten skill plate, are good options for her. But there are certain flaws in her moves itself, which we will discuss next. The basic setup for her moves at 3 star level used to be green feeder move and setup move that makes X breaks. But making randoms is something that is an ancient design at this time. Overall, she can make X breaks, steal green MP and also boost her black gem damage by 61%, which is 65% at move level 16. The setup for this review is yellow, yellow, black. Submission armbar here can be replaced with any other black move, either steal green MP or boost your black gems, according to your opponent. With, with 10 MP armbar, you can create 4 submission gems, deal 11.1k damage for 3 turns, and leftover gems turn into X breaks. Yellow 7 MP summon drop deals 19.3k and destroys 4 random black gems. Yellow 8 MP overhead belly to belly suplex deals 19.7k and you can choose 3 gems to destroy. It's up to you if you want to have X breaks created by submission. If accompanied by skill plate, you can choose to destroy blast gems or even cross picks uh, with the boss plate. Before moving on, it is so obvious that the move damage given to Ronda at 5 star level is almost criminal. It's so low compared to other strikers we currently see these days. The other moves are Regal Plex dealing 28k and makes 5 random gems to black. Could be usable with the right entourage. Um, Beal deals 20.3k and steals. Or green MP, situational but comes in handy sometimes. Hurricane Rana, uh, 8 MP green move deals 18.6k, almost shaking my head with <laughs> these damage numbers by the way. Makes 3 random black gems to X breaks. Uranagi, 9 MP black move deals 24.6k and increase your black gem damage by 61%. There's one other move she does, which was actually one of the moves from Shayna Baszler in NXT, I really liked it. It's not in the game yet. It's called the Step Up Knee Strike. Looks cool. Uh, get it in the game, please, if any devs are out there watching this. Alright, coming to Entourage. We have Shobot Kofi giving plus 4 yellow MP. Zombie Nakamura at 9k is perfect trainer for Ronda, boosting 30% for yellow moves and also helps destroy 4 more gems. Uh, it's almost like Zombie Nakamura was made for Ronda. <laughs> and uh, Zombie Sasha as a coach to give plus 25% initial board chance for yellows. And finally 6 to reduce submission turns by 3 if the opponent has it. 
can replace with gem damage coach but if you lose all mp with a submission it really gets tough to get it back coming to straps and medals using the double fury here a strap gives plus 20 percent gem damage by itself focus is on all gem damage but the highest here is yellow gem damage of 108.5 percent i was really proud of it during the five star bronze days but uh, it's uh, quite low compared to what her move design is at the moment all the other gems do at least 84 percent the skill plate being used here is boss time so when you destroy six yellows you make six random cross breaks this plate is almost secondary and does its work very late in the match let's discuss the gameplay next it's straight up gameplay not much shenanigans here get a yellow match at the start use summon drop to destroy eight random black gems if this fills the submission without pinning the opponent that's the best case scenario you can make some x break gems to destroy with the submission Next turn, use overhead belly to belly suplex. You may ask, but what about the boss plate? Well, if your submission isn't ready, use the yellow move to destroy at least six yellow gems to activate the boss plate. And then you get some destruction on the board as a striker. This used to be great, if I'm being honest, uh, but not anymore now. There is so much more an average striker can do. I faced 8 opponents and that video will be out next. Final verdict for Ronda is, she used to be great back in 2018-2019 but since there is not much of an upgrade or upscale in her move damage when it comes to her 5 star rarity, uh, she is lacking a lot of firepower uh, I believe. It can be rectified if she gets a revamp but until then she lacks that striker damage so much uh, even straps, medals and skill plate cannot make her viable at this time. If it's a requirement that you need a striker ronda then it's great otherwise there are better female strikers to look out for. Her scores reflect her current status accurately. In tours she did 95%, HP retention was 60%. Feud score was 19.5%. Average time to finish a match was 2.59 seconds, which is almost 4 to 5 minutes. And uh, average damage is around 415k. That's pretty low for a striker. And her final rating turned out to be 5.5 out of 10.